So this Saturday, in the next few, I'm going to zero in on examples from the past of foreign meddling in United States presidential elections. Uh, I don't believe that Russia uh, and Trump meddled or colluded to meddle. It's possible the Russians meddled. But uh, this is not unprecedented and this is not even atypical. Go back in our history, 1796, the third presidential election we had after George Washington was retiring that pitted Federalist John Adams against Republican Thomas Jefferson. A key issue in the election was the Federalist Party led by Adams's bias toward in favor of Britain and the, Federal, the Republican Party led by Thomas Jefferson's bias in favor of France. In 1793, uh, as right after Washington was re-elected, France sent a new ambassador to the United States named Citizen Genet, and he arrived in 1793. And he set about taking captured British warships that the French had captured and had refitted as French warships and were looking to recruit American volunteers to man their crews. And, you know, volunteers in those days didn't always mean volunteers. It could mean sailors who got drunk and were hijacked to be aboard ship. In any case, the uh, Washington administration tolerated this. But Genet, rather than present his credentials to President Washington, waited until Washington was out of town and presented them instead, instead to Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson. And uh, then Genet went out campaigning all over the width of America in favor of France and against Britain and overtly urging Americans to go to Florida to fight against Spain, which was a key opponent of France at that point. Genet's efforts on behalf of the French and meddling in U.S. elections and saying that uh, the Federalists had to be defeated and the Republicans led by Jefferson had to win grew so intrusive that Washington asked Genet to leave and got the French government to recall him. So that's when foreign meddling in U.S. elections started, right at the beginning. Today's lunch alert is sponsored by Money Morning with really interesting investment idea. Uh, all federal agencies like the DEA, the FBI, even the Defense Department have to pay rent for any buildings that they occupy. And those rents can often be quite substantial and run into the hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So an investment fund has been created so that you can share in the profits of those rents. And uh, if you click on the link at the end of this video, you can figure out how to be part of it step by step, something many other Americans have done, and that turns out to be quite profitable. Thanks for watching.